Now what we can do is we can go and look at our quality control process. So if I go to quality control, I can now see that my item that I've just created has been put into quality. And it's created this particular item. So you'll see further down. Okay, so it's producing some quality control details for me here. So it's, it's actually giving me some details of my finished item. It's giving me details of the lot numbers, lot numbers created, uh, and individual serial numbers. One, two, basically one, two, three, one through to five. Here, what we can do is we can actually do quality control in one of two ways. We can either simply change the status of the item once it's actually gone into quality, or we can do what we're doing here, which is actually performing a, a more formal quality test. You'll see against each line, there's a, something called a technical sheet. And a technical sheet really just allows you to provide, provide a set of tests that you're going to assign to each particular item. And we'll just simply kind of test one line for the time being, just to, just, just, just to illustrate the process. But here what we'll do is we'll sort of click on our action icon and we'll actually complete the technical sheet for, our, for, this, one, for this first line. Here I've just included a few, a few short tests just allow me just to complete the, complete the process. So I'm defining a test date. So we'll say that's today. Uh, printing test, we'll say that the item was successfully passed. And the color check, let's just decide we're gonna pick on a standard color. And then we'll save. And that takes us back to our quality control screen. Now what I can do is, is in the action icon, I can now perform the actual quality control detail. And the first thing we're doing here is we're confirming that the actual quantity of stock produced, we're, produ we're just confirming the serial number. We can confirm the new status of our, of our item. And we can, we can see in this case that we've got options relating to the statuses. So we were in a quality status, as you can see on the left-hand side here. And now we've got options to say whether we accept or reject that particular item. And, it, and as you can see, there are options to do with uh, actually creating sub-statuses as well, if, if, if you need to. So we'll say this has been accepted. I'm picking out a, a, a warehouse location type. I'm gonna say this is going into my work order complete location and it's defined a location for me. Uh, so these are actually defaulted based on the product, but you could have a list here that you're selecting from. I'm now gonna save and that puts that item now back into, back into, my, back into my quality control screen. Once I've actually created that, I can then save my quality control detail in order to say what I've just done there. So now the item is put back into stock. If I scroll across now and look at that single first item, we can see that we've actually qualified one item and we've, give, and we've confirmed the serial number and we have the stock location details where that item um, can now be placed. So with that, I'd just like to now really close the session and say thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you found it useful. And if you do need to get in touch, please use any of the details on the screen here or you can email me directly. Um, it, it just remains for me to say thank you very much for joining and have a great rest of your day.